Finally, the recording worked. Can you guys believe this ghetto setup? It is beautiful. I literally just had it in the perfect position. Hello everybody, this is Zach, and today I'm going to be doing a playthrough of Super Mario 3D World. But not just any ordinary playthrough, no. For this playthrough, I'm going to do something a bit different. I've seen one YouTuber do this, but I've, I've only seen him do it for two levels. I'll be quiet for this cutscene and then I'll explain. Okay, let's get this started. So basically, I'm going to go through most levels up to the final boss. Well, sort of final boss. Where I'm going to, for each level, have one, la one jump that I can use in the level, and one jump that can use zero for the flag. And if need be, I will use that jump in the level. So that way I can Wow, I got that first try. Okay, that's the first time I've ever done that. I think it's gonna be good to play through. Because I've tried that before and I was so long. There are two techniques I've learned. You learn to maximize the amount of distance I can cover without jumping or pressing the button. By the way, this seems similar to something you guys have seen before. That is probably due to the fact that I am. Um, this is sort of based off of Pinoke. I think that's his username. Pinoke 12, 2012. Basically, he plays um, Super Mario 64 and goes to levels trying to use the least amount of A presses. So, that's, this is a little based off of that. And this will be my first jump. Where's that one? What makes this hard is that some of the levels require green stars. So, I'll be interested how far I can get. And if you guys, I might skip some levels, but if you guys recommend some levels for me to play, then please do, just comment below. But anyway, this is just the basic gist of what I'm going to be doing. I'm in walls and avoiding as many jumps as I can. And here's the flag will jump. Basically, how this is going to go through. So, I hope you guys enjoy the series. Oh. Okay.
Okay, on to World 1 Max 2, everybody's favorite underground level. I'm using a Luigi instead of Mario or Toad or something. It's because of the fact that this game was made in the game. So, you know. Let's just pass through this part. And my least favorite part of this level is the fact that I have to do this. Oops. Okay, I'm back where I started. I hope you guys saw, did you see that? Hope my editing personnel doesn't put that part in. So, this time I'm going to do this right. If I need to do the block, okay. This block just makes it easier. There we go. That's what I was trying to do. The cat guy is like the best thing in this game for this because you can go in. Let me see how can you, you can go in a direction, and while in that direction, you can basically use the cat dive. So you can do like a perfect 90 degree turn. It's really helpful. And um. I'll be trying to go through this as fast as I can, so if anyone wants to... And also, the least amount of jumps. If anyone wants to do these levels and try to beat what I, how fast I do it, or how many jumps I can do it in, because I know some of the levels, I've tried some of them out, that I was skeptical about. Some of these levels, you can't exactly do in between the less jumps, so if anyone wants to try to beat me on those, feel free to. And sometimes I'm gonna have my. Oh, uh, I'm gonna have one or five. I discussed this before. Sometimes I'll have her come in, help me with commentary. Okay, first jump. I'll probably edit in some kind of thing around the screen so that way you guys can get a visual cue of how many jumps I've used. And I think I'm going to end on that note. So please leave your feedback, and if you'd want to see anything for me to do, or give me a nice little challenge, then just comment below. And yeah, I think I'm going to end it there. So, oh wait. Right. I think I'm going to do this first. Because I think I have room for this. My recording does not once again stop because I don't have an update. I know that. For this enemy thing, I made a rule to where, unless necessary, I won't jump. And I think for when I'm in the main hub, I'm gonna write down, I'm gonna like put a note in like the top right corner or something of how many I've done, how many um, jumps, I've, jumps I've done. So yeah, I think I have enough space for one more. This might be one of my favorites. So 
a lot more different than the other ones. I don't know what to call it. These are some of the techniques I do. Because normally, with the cat suit, you can't climb walls by just running into them. But if you go off a ledge, because you have to be a certain height above the wall, to get above the floor, you have to climb that wall. Then you can um, climb the wall without jumping. So that's what allows me to climb up these. So I try to find any way I can to avoid places where I need to, where I can um, jumping in places where I don't need to. So that way I can do these jumps um, when they're necessary. Also, I forgot to mention if anyone can beat my how many jumps I use, then I'll leave their link your video in the description along with your channel, or I will do something like, hmm, I don't know, if you don't have a channel, then just give me a user I can link it to, and uh, post me a picture. Send a picture, so I like to put it on Google Plus or something. But yeah. I'm pretty sure this one only requires one jump. I could be wrong though. Oh yeah, my least favorite part of this playthrough is that if I lose my cat suit, both of them, they don't have to start it. Fun! And I think now I will end the video. And as you can see, I'm at a fourth in the road. So, um, if enough people comment in the comments, I will let them choose. Because since it's a fork in the road, I can decide myself or I can let you guys decide for me. So, if anyone wants me to go to world 1 4, please comment. Um, Hashtag Plusy Plunge. Uh, if you want to see how that's spelled, it's right there. You can just pause the video. And then, if anyone wants me to go to World 1 Dash 5, just um, comment below Scramble Circus. Hashtag Scramble Circus. So, whichever gets the most votes, I will go to. I must warn you that this one's harder, so please don't make me do it. Please, I'm begging you. Just. Don't. Please don't. But anyway, I think that's going to be it. So, um, remember, for this, hashtag Plessy Plunge, for this, hashtag Scramble Circus. And on that note, I'll see you later, chaps.